Hello, this is Billy Core from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. Today is Saturday, January the 10th of 2015, and I have no clue when this video will be able to be uploaded, um, as well as my previous video, because, you see, this week we decided um, it would be a smart idea to switch to AT&T DSL service. We now regret that. Today we've been having um, constant, constant internet outages and slowdowns. Right now the only site I can load is Facebook and basically um, we have the worst internet connection you can imagine right now. So we're gonna try as hard as we can to switch back to um, Time Warner um, cable internet which we never really had problems with. Um, we did this to save money and well I don't think we're saving much money as we thought and we are not um, getting nearly as good service as we should be. In fact, it's it's a serious piece of crap. And it's driving me insane. But I digress. This is part two of my uh, Packard Bell Platinum One video. We're going to be doing a little bit of um, maintenance to it. Um, for today we'll be... Um, replacing the CMOS battery and um, restoring it with the Packard Bell Master CD. Now, um, first thing we're going to do is replace the CMOS battery because that's the um, uh, most important thing and that we need to do first so it can uh, so the BIOS will remember its settings. And here's the uh, the batteries here. Excuse me while I go open this. All right, got the battery here. Let's uh, peel this sticker off, or it will um, not be able to function. There we go. And let's remove the old and quite dead battery. It's right down in there. flathead screwdriver here so we can oh it's in there good and there we go throw that away and pop this brand spanking new one in if I can my hand's too big to get in here. Okay, I'm, I'm right-handed, so ah, there we go, and that's that done. So, um, I really don't think there's anything else that needs to be done inside the machine. No, it doesn't really look like it. I think it's good to go. I might. Actually, you know what, I might remove these uh, two expansion cards down here. One's a SCSI adapter and the other is a network adapter, both of which I don't ever plan using in here. So um, I'm going to do that off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, I got those cards out. Unfortunately, I seem to be out of spare slot blanks, so I'm just going to have to leave it as is. I hate doing that, but... I have no other choice. Also went on ahead and put in a, I don't think you can really see it because of the light, a, a new case fan, a Cooler Master um, brand one. I figure it might make things a little bit more efficient in here. Oh, there's the uh, sound slash modem card. And the hard drive and all that. So I guess we'll um, button it back up and start with the software end of things. Okay, got it back together. Um, next thing we need to do is reformat the drive and um, reinstall Windows with a Packard Bell Master CD. Let's go through my little binder here. I think this one here, which came with my Legend 1510 Supreme, is the most era appropriate for this machine. Let's go ahead and uh, power it on. Uh, I 
think there might, I think I need to adjust that fan. Be right back. And so I opened it up and there was indeed a tiny little wire caught in the case fan, but I believe I took care of that. So um, let's try this again. Uh, oh yeah, that's a lot happier sounding. Uh, first thing we need to do is reconfigure the BIOS and this time it should save it since we got a new battery. It thinks it's January 0, 2002. Uh, okay, um, whatever you say. Alright, it's actually the 10th of January. 2015 time it's about 5:49 in the afternoon here we go anything else we need to do in here uh, I'll change this here to uh, CD-ROM and hard disk. Surprised this can boot from a CD-ROM, but okay. Okay, let me just double check that before we. Uh, yeah, okay. Just don't want to have to come back in here. Set that to auto. Uh, I don't want advanced power management. Uh, plug and play. Boot with plug and play OS. Uh, I'll set it to Windows 95. And I guess that's good enough. Um, now, one thing I forgot to test on here is the floppy drive. And oh, I hope it works because if not, I am in trouble because I don't have any spares. Sounds healthy when I put the disc in because we need a boot from it to get into the master CD. Which, speaking of that, we need to put the master CD in. There we go. Fingers crossed, folks. That's a good sign. Okay, uh, that seems to be working. Like I said, that's a good thing because I don't have any spare floppy drives, especially ones without that bezel. Let me detect the CD-ROM. Okay, I'm going to go to Fix and Restore. I'm going to do Format and Restore Hard Disk. Maybe not. Uh, what in the world? Let's try that again. Okay, I don't know what that was about, but anyway. Do you wish to proceed? Why, yes I do. And again, this is the original hard drive. And um, I'll pause here and come back in a little bit. So I was away when um, the format completed, but um, as you can see here, it's um, already restoring files from the master CD. Um, as you saw in my previous video, the um, format number was already in the hard drive because this is the original hard drive so the disk are, uh, the CD automatically detected the format number so I didn't have to put it in there and just started up automatically so um, that is a uh, 
a good thing to have when you um, still have your original hard drive. It's very, very handy. Oh, and I've also forgot to mention in the um, previous video, I did test out that zip drive, and it does indeed work. Um, I'll probably keep it in there just because it's there, <laughs> and it works. I doubt I'll ever use it, but why not? <laughs> So I guess we'll we will let this uh, do its thing, and um, this will probably take a while because this is a pretty big master CD. So we will resume momentarily. All right, we are back, and we have a Jay Wakefield in the Skype call again. Hi everyone, I'm working on a Packard Bell Yes, Yeah, so am I. Um, he, although um, Jay's working on a. European um, modern Packard Bell, which we don't get over here in the States. Yep. Ugh. Working on Windows Vista Machine. It's uh, got an Athlon 64 installed. Yeah. And I've just installed an extra gig of memory and a PCMCIA kind adapter. Ah, oh, yeah. Well, PCMCIA kind adapter is only temporary. <laughs> I can't find a USB wireless card. I'm going to use a laptop one instead. All right, and over here at my Packard Bell, the Platinum One, um, the restoration has been successfully completed. So, we'll go ahead and um, exit out of um, all of this. We'll be rebooting momentarily. In order to load Windows 95, please remove the CD from the drive, turn off the computer, and turn on the computer. You know what? I'm actually not going to do any of that. <laughs> I'm just going to do a hard reset and eject the floppy. Because I know Packard Bells better than they know themselves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. I'll, uh, I'll be asking why this one's decided to suddenly start swearing at me. <laughs> Well, congratulations on the purchase of your new Packard Bell computer. We are sure that it will meet your computing needs. Too bad the same can't be said for Jay's Packard Bell right now. Thank you for choosing Packard Bell. All right. Now it's going to do the sound card detection. Sorry, we could not detect your sound card. Probably because it's a potato. <laughs> uh, it detected it, and it's voice view compatible. It's a sound. It's a sound two two eighty eight AMSP sound card. If that even matters. <laughs> I hate to sound like a total jerk here, but um, this is a Packard Bell from nineteen ninety six. Working perfectly without any trouble at all. Jay's using a Packard Bell from like 2007 or so, and it's swearing at him. <laughs> it's still not working. <laughs> I took the extremely bravo, but we never did they work. It's not funny. <laughs> well, that's that's not your fault, Jay. Back in the 90s, they knew how to build stuff. <laughs> I know, <laughs> because it's this computer's almost 18 years old and it's still working. <sighs> That's a loud fan. What did it call my mother? Um, I can't repeat it. I, uh, good point. <laughs> and guys, we'll probably have El Mall 3 in the, in the video um, shortly once he's done eating dinner. <laughs> I, I don't know what he's eating, but I don't think he's eating spaghetti. 
Yeah, because that's what I had for supper. It's the it, my mom makes it. It's the most delicious thing in the world, and I ate too much of it because it's delicious. So it's a catch twenty two. <laughs> All right, detecting voice view, um, voice view modem detected. And Excellent. we're not focusing. There we go. All right, detecting zip 100 drive. I wonder if it'll detect, detect it even though it's not the original to the system. It did detect it, huh? Oh, there we go. Even though it's not original to the system, it detected it. Sometimes it can, you know, sometimes, I think some of those machines did come with uh, zip drives, because I think I'm, I think I'm not Master CD, there actually is zip drivers. Yeah, and I have seen Packard Bells from this era that do have them. So, but yeah. the reason I'm surprised was it detected it even though it's not original to the system, and that it wouldn't be in the format number or anything. I think it does it anyway. Yeah, because even on my Legend 1510 Supreme with its TV card, it doesn't pick it up. Ah, that, that is quite strange. Probably because it's an IDE drive and it's, it'll scan the IDE, but that don't watch. Yeah, that's a good point, because the 1510 does, unlike this machine, does not have its original drive. Which, even then, I just now realize probably wouldn't make much of a difference. Okay, put in my name. Uh, whoops, I misspelled my last name. My name is not Billy Oor. And Billy Cord's Joe, which this machine does not have. Yeah, if you don't get the joke there, Jay, I, um, I, I misspelled my last name, and by that, I did not put the C in there. <laughs> yeah, I know. Billy Oor. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Alright, and I totally read that license agreement. <laughs> Alright, certificate authenticity. Um I'll let me I'll be right back. Um let me put in the product key. Okay, we're back. I just put in the product key. Um my Packard Bell's still going. Jay's on the other hand is still being a a total um egghead. <laughs> Yeah, yes. I've you know, I've done the usual troubleshooting steps. I've, I've taken all the extraneous bits out, and it's just not going. Oh, that you know, um, as a computer guy myself who works on this kind of stuff, um. That's that's always a very very terrifying feeling when that kind of stuff happens. <laughs> I know. Right. Yeah. yeah, it's not even um, posting enough to to power the fan back down. It's, no, it's that's that's the thing. I mean, normally, I'll spin the fan right the way up, and I'll spin it down. Yeah. Um. So. Oh, that's a good point there. Check that. And uh, and while you're at it, um, you might want to maybe look up those beat codes online. Usually, that's memory. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I mean, I have, I have removed all the extraneous parts from the machine. So that's the, the TV tuner that it came with, um, and, and there's some broad graphics. Um, you know, just the basic amount of memory. Yeah, it's like, always a way to go about it for troubleshooting. It's always a yeah. shame. You, it's always a shame you have to do that, but a lot of times you just have to. Okay, setup is ready to restart your computer. Go right ahead. And my battery is dying as is tradition, so uh, 
Let me go plug it in. Be right back. All right, we're at one of my favorite um, screens in the world, getting ready to run Windows 95 for the first time. I still remember on my original Legend 822 CDT, whenever we would um, restore it to factory settings, that was always exciting to see. And I don't think I was in the room yet when that happened, but I'm sure it was exciting for my dad when he first saw that on December 5th, 1995, when we first got the computer. The funny thing is that we didn't get on the uh, console. Yeah, because y'all's um, um, factory image was done differently. Yeah. And there's a 16 color version of Navigator. Ain't that pretty? Not. <laughs> uh, unless, you, unless you're into abstract art. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> Windows. Do you have any spares? Oh, good grief. Uh. Alright, it's setting up start menu shortcuts. Okay, come on, come on. I was just saying I want to show here. Uh, I always um I always liked how on Windows 95 setup when it says it's preparing shows it preparing the help file, it shows like a pen writing inside a book. I do like those oh, no. Yeah. All right, setup is finished. Configuring your system. Ah. George, you, you okay? Yeah. And by the way, Jay, um, the motherboard in this Packard Bell is a Hillary board. I believe your right. I believe your 406 CD um, had one of those. As does my 402 CD over in my closet. You know what, Jay? I think it's time for you to go make a cup of tea. <laughs> Alright, I like Navigator looks a lot more colorful now. And we got good sound here. Let's turn the speakers up. Welcome from Packard Bell. We offer you two computing environments to choose from. Packard Bell's Navigator or Microsoft Windows. You may also begin by taking a quick lesson on using the mouse. Oh yes, um, a lesson on using the mouse. I think, I believe it involves taking the mouse and inserting it inside your nose. It's, it's rather painful, but it's necessary. But I will not do that on camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we um we have a fully restored Packard Bell. And um yes, it even did install the zip drive. In fact, let's test it out. I actually have a zip disk right here. And it even automatically pops up. Um, I think I got a couple of old Norton Ghost images on there. Let me 
Now it's not even beeping, Jay. You know, I think the motherboard must have died completely, yeah? <laughs> Oh, that's lovely. Absolutely lovely. <laughs> All right, let's uh, go into system properties, see what we got going on. It's not doing anything. We got Windows 95 version A, 32 megabytes of RAM. Go into Device Manager, and believe it or not, unlike a lot of Packard Bells, no resource conflict <laughs> for the communications port. All right, got a Cirrus Logic um, video card. I believe it's uh, the standard um, 5434 that Packard Bells usually had at this time. Like I've said before, the Platinum One, as the name says, was the first Platinum, so... <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm aware that the one kind of And we have an L Mall 3. You're, hey. you're, you're hey. on video, Luke. What? You're on video, Luke. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, um... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what's funny is, Luke, um, I just successfully... Um, and what's funny, Luke, is, is that I've been filming this video of restoring this Packard Bell Platinum One, which is almost 18 years old, but is still in perfect cosmetic and working condition. Not one problem with it one whatsoever. And whereas we have Jay with a with a Packard Bell that's only like eight years old, I bet that's not working at all now. Someone had one job. Yeah. <laughs> and easy. All right. Got Packer Bell sound card with this software wavetable. But I'm going to switch it to FM synthesis for now. Okay, and I think it's time we do a canyon test. And here we go. As usual, a very, very happy canyon test. And since we got Elmo 3 in the call now, I'm going to do one more uh, MIDI related test. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I think I'm not sure. By the way, my pocket fell flying. Oh, there you go, folks. We, ha we had a miracle in this video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now time for this other MIDI test. And you get the picture.
picture there. <laughs> but, but yeah, um, I guess um, that's about all there is for this video. Um, just just to recap. What, oh no, actually, we got one more thing we need to do. One more thing, and I actually need to pause the video to get that said thing ready. We are going to update the BIOS on this motherboard because you see Hillary motherboards originally shipped from the factory um, not being able to register hard drives that are two gigabytes or larger. But there's an update that I have where you can fix that and I think you can make it top out at about eight gigabyte hard drives. So I am going to go um, write that floppy disk and we will resume. Okay, it took me a little while. Um, I had to download it from somewhere and um, my internet is so terrible today that it took longer than needed. But um, we still have these guys on Skype. Hey. Huh? Oh, let me be modern too. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I finally got the packet voucher lobby going. Yeah, just barely. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now um, we're going to update the BIOS. Here is the totally legit update disk. So we're going to pop it in the drive there and hope that nothing bad happens because um, I'm going first. I'm going to restart, but. It's like I've said before, that's too loud, and, um... That wasn't too loud at all. I, um... Updating the BIOS on any computer, old or new, is very, 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 um, trying for me because I'm so nervous the whole time. Someone's phone's going crazy. Yeah, that's my friend Dave. Huh. <laughs> right. Flash memory update utility, version 3.2. Enter to continue. Update. update. Alright, uh... It's, been, it's been several years since I've had to do this, so i got to remember um, what, what, how this works here. Um, Verify flash memory area with a file. Enter to verify a flash memory area with a data file. The data file must be accessible on a drive, hard disk, floppy, or network. Okay. Okay, update flash memory area from a file. Right. And we're going to update the uh, system BIOS. And it just found it on the floppy disk there, so... There we go. You should see me when I'm updating BIOSes. I'm usually like pretty clenched. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The following flash data file has been successfully loaded. Um, it, if this is the correct file for loading into flash memory, then hit continue. Okay. Timestamp is September 12, 1995. All right. Continue with programming. Oh boy, I'm I'm nervous. What? I cannot be held responsible if you choose to perform the steps outlined in this video and you find that you break your Packard Bell. Yeah, and a brick Packard Bell is something you definitely don't want to experience. <laughs> but the um yeah, so experienced it this afternoon. <laughs> yeah, and I did with and I and I did about four years ago with my Legend thirty five fifty. But that what but that wasn't because I updated the BIOS, it was because I don't know what it was, okay? Uh, technically mine wasn't burnt, so it's just dinner. But yeah, I mean seriously. And, and if you do are updates in the BIOS, make sure you know what motherboard your system has. Exactly. Uh, like I just said before, there's three possible motherboards that could actually have been fitted to the platinum one. The Hillary board, which is what Billy's currently got, that's uh, also been in systems like my 406 TD and Billy's old 406 CD at his uh, two, uh, 402 TD. 
the PP600 board, which is present in machines like the 1510 Supreme and the Legend A22 CDT, both of which Billy has, and the P640 board, which I believe is in the Legend 3550, am I right? 3540. 3540. So. Yeah, that's one Luke has. I've got one for those. Yep, and Bill used to have one, so... Yeah, and um, the one I used to have is now owned by Luke, so yeah. But but don't worry, he is taking very good care of it. It's in good hands. The point is, just because Hillary, ba Hillary Bird Bias update is working on Billy's Platinum one does not necessarily mean it will work with yours. If you are planning to do this BIOS update, double check, triple check what motherboard you have. Exactly. It is the correct one for your motherboard. And do not come back to us should you break your system because we all know liability. Yes, exactly. And, um, well, and... Yeah, want to get sued. <laughs> yeah, none of us do. <laughs> But um, it says here, reprogramming of the system flash memory has completed successfully. So we'll go ahead and hit enter to reboot. And it's and the computer survived that. So that was a successful update. And we're going to boot back into Windows. Eventually, you know, as much as I love having a, uh, oh, what is it, a, uh, the original hard drive in here with the system credentials and everything, eventually I am going to upgrade this to a CF card setup because it's just more practical these days. And there we go. And in a couple of seconds, possibly, it is now 8.22 p.m. There you go. There's the 8.22 right now sitting on my bed. <laughs> <coughs> so, um... Don't you know that it's 8.22 p.m. in uh, Chicago um, during the summertime? Oh, yeah. <laughs> because then it becomes 822 CDT. Exactly. Yeah. So, I guess this pretty much concludes this video. Um, the next thing um, in store for this is I'm going to um, move this out to the workshop, um, but that won't be until um, sometime next week when I can um, make my way out there because um, I typically don't like doing this stuff on Sundays, but... Um, so, um, yeah, I'll just, after this video is done, I'm going to probably set this aside and put the 822 back over here where it belongs. So, um, anyway, um, final thoughts. Um, you have any final thoughts, Luke? Well, you had a platinum one before. I guess this is in such good condition. It's shinier platinum. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's more polished. That's, 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 that's really desperate and horrible, but that's all I can think <laughs> it's, it, it, it's a nice computer. It's just yes, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, and it's a fun little system, too. And, uh, Jay, any final thoughts? Yeah, I think it's uh, pretty neat that you can actually have um, the first one of the series, and, and I think um, you do well to keep it. Um, you know, and, and especially with the Z drive. I, I must admit, the Z drive is very jay yeah, it's like I said, it's not original to the system, but I think I'll keep it in there anyway because where else am I going to put it? <laughs> but um, yeah. but yeah, it's a great little system. I have to admit. There you go. Oh yeah, you know. So, I guess this is Billy Core signing off.